Hey everyone, Michael Sherry here. A couple thousand years ago, there was an event that happened that really transformed the community. It was super amazing. People were talking about it and still today, thousands of people not only talk about this story, but also hear this story on a daily basis. See, 2,000 years ago, there was a large event. Thousands of people came to hear a speaker. And like some events today, it went a little bit longer than expected. And people were unprepared. People soon became hungry. And they didn't know what to do. It wasn't like today where we just run out to McDonald's and get a quick bite to eat. They were, they were in trouble. But there just happened to be a boy there. And this boy came prepared. He brought his lunch, a couple fish, a couple loaves of bread. And he decided to do something profound. He shared it. He shared it with all of those thousands of people. And something profound happened. That food was multiplied. And everyone there ate and was filled. And not only that, there was baskets of food left over. Last week, I went around our community and spoke to a couple of leaders in our community. I went down to the Bethany Center and I talked with Sean Rickard down there and you know, asked what their needs were. If you're unaware of what they do, they, they feed those who are hungry in our community. And they do much more than that. But, uh, because you know there's always a need out there for box food, for canned food. And I thought, well, I can help with that. He said also this time of year, a lot of people are outside a lot. And it's cold and they need hats and gloves. I thought, well, I can help with that. And then from there, I went uh, over to Pickle Compassion Network and talked to Rebecca. And they do amazing things out there. They help people in different ways, people who are in need for various, various needs. And they, they go above and beyond, in many cases, for those in our community who are struggling and maybe the season they're in. And I asked, well, what, what do you need, Rebecca? What can we do for the community? And she said, you know, the community gives a lot of things, but some things you think you wouldn't need that people need that is hard to get is maybe household items like paper towels, toilet paper, plates, paper plates, and cleaning supplies, things like that. Things you use every day around your house you just take for granted. And I said, well, I can help with that. So what I've decided to do is here at Sherry Chrysler, we've got a, a big box van, and we've started to collect some items, and we thought we'd share this with the community so we can all experience the joy of giving, just like that little boy did in the story 2,000 years ago. And I was thinking, you know, with all those baskets of leftover food they had, you know, that went out, and it doesn't say what happened to that, but I, I know it had a profound impact outside of that community that was originally there that ate. And I thought, man, if we could fill this box truck, maybe we could even help the communities around us. Wouldn't that be profound? So as you're shopping around, in the next couple weeks, we'll have this box truck out front. If you're able, pick up a couple extra items. Just drive in, put it in the truck. I'll have the door open. We'd love to have a profound impact on our community, just like that impact a couple thousands of years ago. And I think together we can do that. We can experience that joy of giving. I wish all of you guys a super joyful Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And let's see what we, together as a community, can achieve.